In previous video, whose link is given in the description, we learned about the formats of single frame, first frame and consecutive frame. In this video, we shall learn the format of flow control frame. In a multi-frame communication initiated by a sender with a first frame, the receiver needs to tell how the flow of consecutive frames need to be sent to the receiver. There are various parameters to be considered like does the receiver has enough memory space to accommodate complete NSDU? At what rate the consecutive frames has to be sent, etc. All these informations regarding controlling of the flow of frames needs to be communicated to the sender by the receiver, hence the flow control frame. Let us understand the format of flow control frame. If you consider the data field part of a flow control frame, it's always 3 bytes. The higher nibble of MSB is the index. Index for a flow control frame is 3 or 0011 in binary. The lower nibble of MSB is the flow status. Flow status can have three possible values. They are 0, 1 and 2. 0 represents clear to send the consecutive frames. 1 represents wait for next flow control frame. So the sender doesn't send any consecutive frame and wait for one more flow control frame from the receiver. And 2 represents overflow or abort. It means that the receiver buffer size is not sufficient to receive the NSDU. So not to send any consecutive frame and abort the multi-frame communication. The second byte of flow control frame is block size. This field is significant only when the flow status value is 0. When flow status is 0 and block size is 0, then it means send all the consecutive frames till complete NSDU is communicated. Receiver makes block size as 0 only when the buffer have enough free space to accommodate complete NSDU. On the other hand, when flow status is 0 and block size is non-zero, then it means send that many consecutive frames as equal to the block size and wait for one more flow control frame then. For example, if block size is 5, then it means sender can send 5 consecutive frames and then wait for the receiver to send one more flow control frame. This happens when the receiver has some free space in its buffer but not so much as to accommodate complete NSDU. So depending on how much space is present, it computes how many consecutive frames can be taken in and puts that number as block size. Note that when flow status is non-zero, then the block size has no significance. Next comes the last field, which is the third byte of flow control frame, which is STMIN. ST min stands for minimum separation time. As its name indicate, this field tells what should be the minimum time gap between consecutive frames. Value from 0 to 127, that is hexadecimal 7f, specify the minimum number of milliseconds to delay between consecutive frames. While values in the range 241 which is hexadecimal F1 to 249 which is hexadecimal F9 specifies delays increasing from 100 to 900 microseconds. So this ends the format of flow control frame and with that the theoretical part of flow control series.